My ultimate thrifty lunch would always be a soup. Soups are really versatile and great for using up ingredients you've already got. But best of all, I absolutely love them. And this is one of my favourites, a comforting smoky bacon sweet corn and potato soup. Thrifty for me is about ingredients that are in the cupboard. Smoky bacon, onions, potatoes, sweet corn. It's amazing how cheap the ingredients are that go into this. Get your bacon and just cut into nice chunks. I want these nice bite-sized pieces. Smoky, chunky and just absolutely delicious. It's almost like an American corn chowder. Potatoes give it starch, thickness. Sweet corn gives it that glossy, delicious flavour. A couple of Baileys, they're always hanging around. If they're not in your cupboard, they're on someone's drive, so ask to borrow them. They are so powerful, and it goes brilliantly well with the onions and the bacon. Baileys in. A couple of potatoes. It's incredible how far you can stretch something out, especially when you bulk it with potatoes. Slice them and dice them. Nice and chunky. Soups are a fantastic way to use up leftover veg or meat that might otherwise go to waste. And if you make it in bulk, freeze it in individual portions and save on lunches throughout the week. So you can see already how hearty and robust the soup is. It's a delicious combination. Onions, bacon, potatoes, and now some fresh leeks. Open up the leek into four. Give that a nice wash. Leeks often have soil left in their tops, so it's important to clean them thoroughly. Start sweating that down. We haven't even got the corn in there yet, and already it's looking and smelling incredible. Add salt, but remember, you've got bacon in there which is salty, so proceed with caution. Really important to sweat those potatoes off. I love getting that flavour from the smoky bacon in with the potatoes. Now, once the leek is sweated off, cream corn. A popular side dish in the States, cream corn is made from fresh, frozen, or even tinned corn, cooked with onion, butter, and cream, and can be bought ready-made. That starts to give the foundation for the soup. After the cream corn, add the sweet corn. Then, your stock. Don't flood the soup. Just bring the stock to underneath the ingredients. You can always add very difficult to take away. Homemade chicken stock is so cheap to make. Just boil up your roast chicken bones with a few fresh veg and freeze in batches for when you need it. Lighten the load with a touch of milk. That gives a really nice, bright colour. Now bring that up to the ball. Turn it down and let it simmer for 12 to 15 minutes. As it cooks slowly, the starch thickens the soup, the bacon renders, and that leek, onion, starts the puree and the corn just shines. OK, next we're going to make the American cheese biscuits. In the UK, they're known as scones, but in America, they're called biscuits. First, put plain flour into a sieve. Add baking powder and sift both into a bowl. Next, add some salt, pepper and grated mature cheddar cheese. Mix the dry ingredients, then make a well in the centre. Pour in double cream and gently combine with a wooden spoon. Turn your dough out onto a floured surface and knead for a few seconds only. If you overwork it, your cheese biscuits won't rise. Roll out your dough to about two centimetre thick and cut into four centimetre round biscuits. Place well apart on a lined baking sheet and leave to rest on the tray for about 10 minutes. Then brush the top of each biscuit with melted butter and bake for about 30 minutes at 160 degrees C in a preheated oven. When your cheese biscuits are well risen and a beautiful golden brown, remove. Deliciously Moorish, served hot or cold. Time to dole out my thrifty lunch. I always like to leave a soup to stand or rest. It looks richer, it gets rid of all the stock. I like to have two thirds ingredient, one third of the stock, so it looks like a nice, delicious, chunky soup. Into the bowl. Beautiful. Tin sweet corn, a leek, potato, and some streaky bacon. 
but it doesn't look like it's just come out of a store cupboard. That is proper hearty food. Served with my American-style cheese biscuits, this thrifty lunch may have been made on a shoestring, but without an ounce of compromise on freshness and flavour.